Hey, hey, happy Wednesday. Just wanted to hop on a minute and we could have a little week chat on my way into work. That's why I've talked to you about it before, but that's why I'm not looking at the camera. I'm looking at the road, but I'm just talking as I'm driving. So we can just visit a little bit and maybe you're on your way to work as well. But anyway, this morning I was kind of in my fall vibe here in Texas. It's still kind of hot, but I'm ready for fall. So I put on one of my fall wigs I haven't worn in a little bit. Um, it's Copper Glaze. And it's Godiva Secret Wig, and the wig name is Jenna in Copper Glaze. Now, I did cut a bang in this just because I wear a bang in all of my wigs. I'm just used to it. Um, I would say all of them. I've tried it without it, and it just seems like I can't get used to it. It just doesn't feel right if I don't have a bang. But anyway, it's not hard to do, and I love this wig, Jenna. It's so easy, and that's what I like about the wig wearing adventure is it's easy, it's quick, as long as you don't pick some of these wigs that you have to do a lot of maintenance to. Most of the ones that I wear are pretty much shake and go. I mean, you can finger curl it, comb it, whatever, put squirt some water on it, but really, you know, within five minutes or so at the most, it, you're really ready to go out the door. Now, these are synthetic wigs. They're high quality synthetic wigs. So they feel like real hair, but they're not. That way they're in the style that they're gonna be and they don't change no matter if you wash them, it goes right back to that style. Now, if you decide to go with the human hair wig, you're going to have a lot more work because it would be like having your own hair. You've got to fix that hair every day. Well, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to wear them for convenience uh, mainly and then the fact that they just help your self-confidence. You feel better. You look better, especially when your hair starts thinning on top like mine did after menopause. So anyway that is kind of the way i chose to wear them wear them and the lace front you'll hear people talk about a lace front on a wig this one does not have a lace front but i did cut a bang in it and with most of my wigs i'm not as concerned about the lace front because i do cut bangs in them but if you want to wear it off your face then uh, a lace front might be a good option for you i also like what's called permatees. Uh, maybe not a ton of it, but I do like some permatees that gives me a little height. I know a lot of you like it more flat on your head, and there's nothing wrong with that. And there is what's called a mono top, meaning each hair is hand tied in the top, and it's a see-through scalp, no matter where you part it. And you can wear it off your face because it's gonna have the lace front, and all of that. Now they come with a little bit higher price tag. The more features you get on them, the more expensive they are. But, um, and if you're just starting as a new wig wearer, I would venture to say what I would try to do at first is to at least go with something that is pretty much a shake and go and maybe kind of closer to your hairstyle and a little bit closer to the density. That may not be possible if you've got you know, hair loss and that kind of thing. I loved all of a sudden being able to put on a wig and have a full head of hair because I haven't felt like I have in a long time. It took me a long time to fix it. So I loved it and I think I embraced that pretty early on. I think some people feel like, well, it doesn't look real because it's too much hair. Not necessarily, it's just more than what you're used to. So it's just a process of getting used to the new you. And you'll find that most people are gonna love it. And so that's just kind of what I wanted to say this morning. We'll continue having these talks on my morning drive time. But I hope everybody has a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.